In today's video, we are going to generate barcode using Python. But before we dive into the code, let's take a moment to understand what barcodes are. Barcode play a crucial role in tracking product, managing inventories, and making the checkout process easier in stores. They contain important information that can be scanned quickly, which reduces human error and speeds up the operation. So this video will not only show you how to create barcodes, but also help you to understand how they work. So first, let's take an overview of what we are going to make in this video. So here I have a barcode that I generated with Python. So when I scan it with the barcode reader, it reads and decodes the 12 digit product number encoded in the barcode. The product number is what was saved when the barcode was created. So let's see how we can make a barcode in Python. For that, we just need to install a module Python barcode. So you need to install it. First, you just need to import the module. So here I have defined a static product number just for testing purpose. And here I'm using a get barcode class function that retrieves a barcode class used to generate a specific type of barcode. And then this function will return a class that is used to create and handle barcodes for specific format. So in the parameter, it takes a string that specified the format. I'm using EAN13 format. You can check the supported formats in the documentation of Python barcode. There are lots of formats used for specific purposes, but I'm using EAN13. That is globally recognized standard for retail products. It is used worldwide and ensures consistent product identification across various markets. So here I'm creating an instance of a barcode class. So in this case, I'm using EAN13 and then initializing it with the product number. And when using EAN13 format, the product number should be of 12 digit. And when the barcode is created, it will add a one check digit automatically just to verify the barcode. And here I'm just saving the barcode and it will create a file in the same directory in which we have this Python file run the script. Then you can see we have a barcode.svg file here. So by default, it will create a SVG file. But if you want to create a PNG file, you can use image writer class. You just need to import it from barcode.writer. Then we can define a writer that is image writer and it will create a barcode in PNG file. Run the script again. We have barcode.png file here and you can see the barcode is generated. So now if we scan this barcode, it reads and decodes the 12 digit product number encoded in the barcode. For the source code, you can check the description. If you found this video useful, you can like it. And to get more content like this, you can subscribe to this channel.